What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Gardening with Bar Chuckin. I'm down visiting with my brother. Going to check on his worm bin. So I'll bring you along, show you how the progress is coming along. Okay, so he has a brown paper bag on top. Giving the little wormy some moisture retention, holding on to some moisture for him. Okay, so let's kind of hop in, see what's going on. He did tell me he just added a whole bunch of new shredded paper to the bin, which is good. For whatever reason, the worms really do like to hang around the outside edge of these bins maybe it helps you know uh, with being down in Virginia it's pretty humid right now and it just did a little rain shower so I guess condensation builds up and then drips down little piece of avocado shell Oh, nice little mini worm ball. So let's get the avocado shells back over. Give the worms a little place to hang out. The other thing, my brother does a lot of juicing. Uh, so what he started doing was uh, putting the blended, well, the, the juiced scraps and forming them into like a small ball. So they have this little worm food ball. So I'm just gonna put one in there and then have him check back on it. And if that goes in like the next, you know, five to seven days, he can add the rest. I just started working on another little project and it had this neat uh, cardboard kind of honeycomb structure. So I'll drop that in there, see if they start kind of messing around with that. And then for grit, I don't know if he's been adding uh, ground up eggshell or not, but what I'm going to do is down here in Virginia, he's got nothing but sand. Uh, so I'm just going to grab a, a small little handful of sand add that to the bin so the worms have good grit and with this the worms will be good for a while add some right to the feeding area oh. we'll get a little cover Cover the top up pretty decently. Oh. And always check, make sure that you don't leave any worms behind. Okay. If you guys have any tips or tricks for my brother, drop them down in the comments. He will be looking at the video comments. As I was saying before, this is gonna be a slow, long process for him to gain a lot of worms. Uh, this started based on just the castings that I brought down that had some baby worms and some wisps in it. And I told him, I said, just use the bin that I gave you, move all the castings to one side, add some bedding to the other side and put a little bit of food. And they've kind of started working themselves over to and, and started creating their own population of uh, red wigglers. Based on what I kind of seen, if I had to guess, I would say there's probably like 250-ish, maybe 300 worms in there. Uh, so hopefully by the end of summer and into the fall and winter, maybe this population can grow to that 500, 750 and kind of start going through food and making them a little bit more castings. And then hopefully by this time next year, he'll be you know close to 1,000, 1,000 plus 
worms, uh, which will really help add that vital life to the garden um, that we're all kind of looking for. Well, thanks for coming along, checking out the video. Everybody have a great day.